Hello, and welcome to the Class of 2022 Virtual Super Scholars Recognition Event. I'm Deputy Superintendent Maria Vasquez, and on behalf of Superintendent Barbara Jenkins, I want to thank you for tuning in to watch this special program. This evening, Orange County Public Schools celebrates more than 130 graduating seniors who represent 19 of our traditional high schools. This group of students is affectionately known as our Super Scholars. Students who have been accepted to one of the top 20 colleges and universities as ranked by U.S. News and World Report, or who have received an appointment to one of our nation's military service academies. Without question, these students have far exceeded the expectations set for them and have taken advantage of the various academic and extracurricular offerings. They've mastered important skills by joining clubs, participating in team sports, tutoring fellow students, representing their peers as student leaders, volunteering in the community, all while maintaining a high academic status. To each Super Scholar viewing tonight's program, we are extremely proud of what you have accomplished and look forward to celebrating your future success. Your academic achievements exemplify the importance of hard work and perseverance and will impact your future goals. Our OCPS mission tells us that with the support of families and the community, we create enriching and diverse pathways to lead our students to success. Behind each of you stands your supportive principal, school administrators, counselors, parents and guardians, family and friends, all committed to helping you be your very best. Among them is a special group of school staff members, your counselors who have helped tailor your course load and connect you with resources to help get you to where you are today. Super Scholars, as you embark on your next adventure, always remember that you are forever a special part of Orange County Public Schools. We will always applaud you and celebrate more successes sure to come your way. Congratulations again. Now, I am pleased to introduce the chair of the School Board of Orange County, Teresa Jacobs. Good evening. As chair of the Orange County School Board, it's my honor and pleasure to join in celebrating our Class of 2022 Super Scholars. Over the past four years, you have worked extremely hard to earn your acceptance into these prestigious colleges and universities. My fellow board members and I share in the excitement of your academic achievements. As you embark on the next phase of your lives, I challenge each of you to live boldly and to passionately chase after your dreams. As Super Scholars, you represent the best and brightest among our students, and you've worked extremely hard over the past four years. Like your parents and family members, we could not be prouder of you. To the parents and family members watching, we commend you for your devotion to your student. To all the principals, teachers, and school support staff watching, thank you for your support of our 2022 Super Scholars. At this time, I'd like to welcome OCPS parent, longtime supporter, and host for the rest of tonight's recognition, Nancy Alvarez, Senior Vice President of Community Relations and Equity Impact, Heart of Florida United Way. Thank you for once again allowing me to be part of this special recognition. It's an honor to have a role in this program, and while we can't physically be together, I am thrilled that we can still share in the celebration of student achievement. As an OCPS mom of two, this is one of my favorite events, I hope that when my children are ready to graduate, that they will be counted among the super scholars. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Today, we will virtually recognize 130 super scholars. This is a record-breaking number, and they represent 19 OCPS traditional high schools. As an OCPS Super Scholar, you each should have received a handsome Super Scholar diploma cover, which was generously provided by Herf Jones, as well as a certificate of recognition from the School Board of Orange County. Now let's get started with our first Super Scholars from Apopka High. 
Christian Martinez has been accepted to and will attend Brown University. He is a National Merit Scholar and the valedictorian of his graduating class. At Brown, he plans to major in mechanical engineering. Gavin Surwe has received an appointment to the United States Coast Guard Academy and wants to major in mechanical engineering. Babe Ruth's quote, every strike brings me closer to my next home run, resonates with him as he continues on his academic journey. He admires his parents who strive to make him the best person he can be while ensuring he has a bright future. Vern Washington Jr. has received appointments to the United States Merchant Marine Academy and U.S. Military Academy at West Point. He is a National African American Recognition Program Scholar who plans to major in computer science at West Point and serve his country in the Army. Congratulations, Blue Darters! Next are the Super Scholars from Boone High. Alyssa Alston has been accepted to and will attend Johns Hopkins University. She is a National African American Recognition Program Scholar who volunteers at the Orlando Science Center. At Johns Hopkins, she plans to major in biology and aspires to become a university professor and researcher. John Burden has been accepted to and will attend Davidson College. While in high school, he played on the varsity boys soccer team and will continue on the Division I men's soccer team in college. He currently operates an investment LLC and plans to major in quantitative economics. After college, he plans to pursue a financial career in investment banking or with a hedge fund. Cassidy Camera has been accepted to Duke and Yale Universities. She is the valedictorian of her graduating class and holds a private pilot license. In the fall, she plans to major in physics and geosciences. Kate Lonnie Diaz has been accepted to and will attend Rice University. She has been a member of the Sound of Braves marching band for the past four years and also participated in the Cargany Mellon Computer Science Scholars and National Hispanic Recognition programs. At Rice, she plans to major in computer science and wants to work for Lockheed Martin or NASA after college. Brooke McCree has been accepted to and will attend the University of California, Los Angeles. She is the Vice President of the Science National Honor Society and Boone High School Chorus and has participated in 13 theater productions during high school. At UCLA, she plans to major in theater and hopes to become an actress and screenwriter. Leighton Nelson has been accepted to and will attend Vanderbilt University. He is captain and an offensive tackle of the varsity boys football team and will continue with the men's football team in college. While there, he plans to major in business and minor in architecture and interior design. Great job, Braves! Up next is Colonial High. Thomas Barrett has been accepted to and will attend Dartmouth College. While in high school, he played on the varsity boys soccer and water polo teams, all while working two jobs and maintaining straight A's. At Dartmouth, he plans to major in economics and English. Jordan Basavanda has been accepted to and will attend at the University of Notre Dame. He is a first generation college student, a Questbridge National College match finalist and has completed more than 100 community service hours at Second Harvest Food Bank and United Against Poverty. At Notre Dame, he plans to major in computer science. Darrell Cruz Rodriguez has been accepted to and will attend the University of Chicago. The first generation college student is the student body and senior class vice president of his graduating class, and he is on track to earn a Cambridge ACE diploma. He plans to major in political science and wants to work in public policy development. Dylan Drongesson has been accepted to and will attend Cornell University. He is the captain of the Varsity Boys soccer and water polo teams and is also a member of the Varsity Boys swim team. He is a first generation college student who plans to major in hotel administration at Cornell and aspires to become a hospitality consultant and real estate proprietor. Mateo Ramirez has been accepted to Cornell and Rice Universities, the University of Pennsylvania, and Washington University in St. Louis. He is a National Hispanic Recognition Program Scholar, captain and MVP of the Varsity Boys swim team, and advocated for LGBTQ rights during a mock legislative session at the Florida American Legion Boys State. 
This fall, he plans to attend Pennsylvania. Pedro Tejada has been accepted to Carleton College. He is among the top 7% of his graduating class and a multi-sport athlete. He fabricated Tintin Limador Foundation to necessitate proper sanitation in low-income Hispanic communities. He plans to major in sociology and aspires to become a doctor. Awesome job, Grenadiers. Now we move on to our super scholars from Cypress Creek High School. Unum Heder has been accepted to and will attend Yale. The Questbridge College Prep and Thrive Scholar is the president of the People of Color Alliance and vice president of the Indian Student Association. At Yale, she wants to major in neuroscience or medical anthropology and plans to attend medical school. Fida Kabwida has been accepted to Pomona College and Yale University. The Thrive Scholar is among the top 10% of her graduating class and on the varsity girls cross country, track and field, and weightlifting teams. At Yale, she plans to study biology and aspires to become a gynecologist. Junapriya Vijayakumar has been accepted to UCLA. The national merit finalist is among the top 10% of her graduating class and on the varsity girls tennis team. She plans to major in molecular biology and wants to become an oncologist or orthopedist. Taha Sulfikar has been accepted to and will attend Yale. While in high school, he held officer positions in four clubs and has completed more than 145 hours of community service. At Yale, he plans to attend medical school and aspires to become a trauma surgeon. Way to go, Bears! Next up are Super Scholars from Dr. Phillips High. Barathon Balachandran has been accepted to and will attend the University of Pennsylvania. The National Merit Finalist is a United States Presidential Scholars Program candidate and has completed the Royal Conservatory of Music's Level 8 exam for piano with first-class honors. At the University of Pennsylvania, he will major in neuroscience and attend medical school. Kate Berenson has been accepted to Colgate University. The AP scholar with distinction recently passed her biotechnician assistant credentialing exam and is also a member of the all-county band. She plans to major in biomedical engineering and hopes to become a biomedical scientist. Jaimin Chen has been accepted to and will attend the University of Pennsylvania. The Questbridge National College Match finalist is among the top 10% of her graduating class and founded the Destin Doctors Student Organization to inspire students to pursue a medical career. At Pennsylvania, she wants to major in health and societies and become an oncologist. Jada Feliciano has been accepted to Brown, Columbia, and Cornell Universities and the University of Pennsylvania. The first generation Ivy League student is an Interact Club officer and member of the National Honor Society and National Society for High School Scholars. At Columbia, she plans to major in oncology and aspires to become a radiation oncologist. Azim Hakim has been accepted to and will attend Rice University. The National Merit Finalist is a three-time American Invitational Mathematics Examination Qualifier, scoring in the top 5% of test takers during the American Mathematics Competition. He is the captain of the schools and Orange County Quiz Bowl teams and also participated in the state competition at Walt Disney World. At Rice, he plans to study applied and computational mathematics and chemistry and wants to become a cardiologist. Greta Harth has been accepted to Vanderbilt University. She is the first chair oboist in the Florida Music Education Association All-State Symphonic Band and has been a member of the Florida Symphony Youth Orchestras for the past four years. She plans to study astrophysics and oboe performance and aspires to become an astrophysicist. Caleb Hodges has received an appointment to and will attend the United States Naval Academy. He is the principal violin chair in the orchestra and a state champion on the varsity boys track and field team. At the U.S. Naval Academy, he plans to major in engineering. Jackson Hoffman has been accepted to Cornell University. The National Merit Scholar is a high school band member, plans to major in economics and aspires to become a lawyer. 
Frederick Hornberger has been accepted to the University of Notre Dame. The National Merit Scholar is the vice president of the Mu Alpha Theta chapter and the alto saxophone section leader in the band. He wants to study computer and electrical engineering and develop neural technologies after college. Sean Lalmani has been accepted to and will attend Harvard University. He is a member of the Varsity Boys golf team and has won five Florida Junior Tournaments in a row, beating professional golfer Brooks Kepka's record. His golf rankings include second in Florida, 11th nationally, and 29th worldwide. At Harvard, he plans to major in business and economics and continue to play golf. Ricky Liu will attend Westland University. The first generation college student created a Rotary Club of West Orlando mentorship program to provide career guidance and shadowing opportunities for students. At Westland, he wants to study neuroscience and behaviors and aspires to become a psychiatrist. Natalie Mistali is a National Young Arts Merit Award recipient and is president of the school chorus. She has been accepted to Northwestern University. Looking up to her voice teacher, after college, she plans to major in vocal performance and pursue a career in opera. Cameron Metcalf will attend Columbia University. He is a member of five National Honor Societies, the first sophomore captain of the football team and four-year recipient of the Scholar Athlete Award. At Columbia, he plans to major in business and become a corporate lawyer. Andrew Olivo has been accepted to Stanford University, the University of Pennsylvania, and Washington University in St. Louis. He is a member of the Council of International Schools and has held leadership positions in campus clubs, including president of the chess club. In the fall, he will attend Stanford, where he will major in international relations and later become an international human rights lawyer. Michaela Ramdani has been accepted to and will attend Wesley College. She is among the top 10% of her graduating class and is on the Varsity Girls weightlifting team where she placed first in district and metro weightlifting competitions. At Wellesley, she plans to major in psychology and wants to work in the criminal science or nutrition field. Devin Roylands has been accepted to UCLA. He ranks fifth in his graduating class and enjoys working with children while volunteering at the Orlando Science Center. This fall, he plans to major in health sciences and pursue a career in medicine. Job well done, Panthers. Now on to East River High. Gianna Celeste has received an appointment to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. An accomplished five-sport varsity athlete and the executive officer of her JROTC unit, she is dual enrolled at University of Central Florida, only the second student in East River's history to ever do so. She plans to major in foreign affairs and become an officer in the U.S. Army. Alyssa Figueroa received an appointment to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. She was a four-year member of the JROTC program, the battalion commander of her unit, captain of the cross-country and track and field teams, and is the first in her family to attend West Point. She plans to major in psychology and become a commissioned officer in the U.S. Army. Judine Gordon will attend Amherst College. Ranked third in her class, she qualified for debate nationals two years in a row and was active in the International Thespian Society. Adam Rouse received an appointment to the U.S. Air Force Academy. He is a first-generation college student, leader in his JROTC unit, and a member of the National Honor Society. He plans to major in meteorology and become a weather officer of the Air Force. Eric Siegel will attend Dartmouth College. They are a Presidential Scholar Program candidate, Questbridge Scholar, and the first East River graduate to attend an Ivy League school. In partnership with Indonesian ambassadors, consulate generals, and the Red Cross, Eric fundraised $12,000 for Indonesian families. He plans to major in cognitive science and economy and pursue a career in virtual fashion design, virtual reality, and artificial intelligence. Fabulous work, Falcons. Next up is Edgewater High. Madison Aeneas has been accepted to Duke University. The chess club president is an avid reader and approaches the world with a curious outlook. She is a lead student volunteer at Rise Against Hunger, where she packaged nutrient-dense meals for international students struggling with food security. She plans to major in chemistry, study abroad, and work for NASA or SpaceX to innovate fuel propellants and develop new ideas for high-performance materials. 
Emily Schur has been accepted to Barnard College. As a National Honor Society member, she managed the Eagles Market, established to combat student hunger, volunteered at an animal shelter, and was a member of the school's bowling team. At Barnard, she plans to major in computer science and film studies. Congratulations, Eagles. Up next, Evans High. Worley Seeds has been accepted to Pomona College and Vassar College. She is a first-generation student who is in the top 1% of her class and is an Elevation Scholar. Her post-secondary education plans include majoring in sociology and attending law school. Derek Edwards will attend Princeton University. He is president of the Future Leaders United After School Enrichment and Mentoring Program, attended the Florida American Legion Boys State Conference, participated in the All-State, Tri-State, and All-County Band, and will graduate in the top 1% of his class. He plans to attend medical school and become a clinical neurologist or cognitive neuroscientist. Jamisha Ferrari has been accepted to Middlebury College. She plans to major in psychology and is interested in working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Carl Pierre has been accepted to Cornell University, Duke University, and Northwestern. He is graduating in the top 1% of his class, is a Class 8 Elevation Scholar, a College Board National Recognition Scholar, and tutor with the school's simplified organization. He plans to major in civil engineering with a minor in finance and lead his own engineering firm. Great job, Trojans! Now we move on to Freedom High. Selena Al Youssef will attend Middlebury College. She has been an active member of the Student Government Association, vice president of the Red Cross Club, and co-founder of the Parents ELA program at Hunters Creek Middle School, assisting recent immigrants in learning English. The second sibling in her family to attend Middlebury, her future career plans include majoring in political science and practicing law. Cecilia Bodon has been accepted to the University of Notre Dame. She plans to major in industrial engineering and economics and attend law school. Manuel Limas has been accepted by Williams College. He is in the top 2% of his graduating class, president of his school's French Honor and Science National Honor Societies, and will be the first person in his family to attend college in the U.S. He plans to major in economics, law, and French, and later attend law school. Miftahul Nabila has been accepted by Middlebury College. She is the first in her family to attend college, a Questbridge National College Match finalist, president of Mu Alpha Theta, and has volunteered more than 380 hours to her community. She will major and pursue a career in information technology and psychology. Congratulations, Patriots! Now for the Super Scholars from Lake Nona High School. Shayan Abbas has been accepted by University of California, Los Angeles. Fourth in his graduating class, he plans on majoring in biology, going to medical school, and becoming an orthopedic surgeon. Nicole Briseno has been accepted to the University of Notre Dame and Washington University in St. Louis. She is the founder and president of her school's Girls Who Code Club and has volunteered more than 600 hours of community service at the Orlando Science Center. Through her dual enrollment at Valencia College, she will graduate with her associate's degree. She aspires to major in computer programming and engineering and become a software developer for Amazon or Google. Dexter Cerrone was accepted by Vanderbilt University. A four-year varsity lacrosse player and a small business owner, Dexter has successfully completed 14 AP classes. He plans to major in biomedical engineering and develop technologies that improve people's everyday lives. Emerys Nina has been accepted to Washington University in St. Louis. She is the co-president of her thespian group, secretary of the Key Club, and will graduate with her associate's degree from Valencia. She plans to major in performance studies and management and strategy, film and TV production, and later wants to direct live theatrical productions. Jack Walker has been accepted to Pomona College. The varsity football team captain and yearbook editor-in-chief founded a youth group to deepen the roots of his local community. He plans to major and pursue a career as an entrepreneur. Job well done, Lions! Our next honorees are from Oak Ridge High. 
Alexis Hill has been accepted to the University of Notre Dame. The future business administration major is in the top 10 percentile of her class and is passionate about raising awareness on human and child trafficking. She plans to become an entertainment attorney and founded a nonprofit organization to prevent human and child trafficking. Alexis Wilkerson will attend Colby College. She is the valedictorian of her class and is a Questbridge Match Scholarship recipient. She is considering a biology pre-med major with hopes of a career as an anesthesiologist. Great job, pioneers. Up next is Okoe High. Glorietta Arthoro has been accepted to Grinnell College, Middlebury College, Northwestern University, Rice University, University of Notre Dame, Vanderbilt University, and Washington University in St. Louis. She is a National African American Recognition Scholar and President of Beta Club. Optimistic about her future while in college, she plans to major in data science. Olivia Brooks has been accepted to Grinnell College, Middlebury, and Wesley Colleges. This MLK youth humanitarian and future attorney launched her own youth empowerment camp and also enjoys volunteering in her community and tutoring at Boys and Girls Club. She plans to major in pre-law and become a juvenile criminal defense lawyer. Anna Hun has been accepted to Middlebury College. Ranked third in her class, she served as Secretary of National English Honor Society and volunteered as a tutor at Citrus Elementary. She plans to major and pursue a career in health science. Azariah Jones has been accepted to Middlebury College. He is a first-generation college student, ranks among the top 20 in his class, and is active in multiple National Honor Society clubs at his school. Benjamin Crane has been accepted to Middlebury College, a weekly volunteer at Orlando Health Okoe's Hospital. He is also the Vice President of External Relations for the National English Honor Society and is on track to be a Florida Academic Scholar. He plans to major in medicine and become an anesthesiologist. Johnny Lee was accepted by Middlebury College and Westland University. Inspired by his mother, he plans to major in aerospace engineering and hopes to work for NASA after obtaining his undergraduate degree. Preston Lee has been accepted to Westland University and Williams College. He is a National African American Recognition Scholar and the president of Beta Club. The first in his family to pursue secondary education, he is an AP scholar and ACE diploma scholar, as well as first in his class. He plans to major in health science, attend dental school, and open his own orthodontic office. Chelsea Liberty was also accepted to Middlebury College. She has served as co-president for Prism Knights and historian for National English Honor Society. When she's not volunteering for Second Harvest Food Bank, you'll find her writing her first book. She plans to major in health sciences and become a therapist. Michael Lim has been accepted to Middlebury College. He is the first from Okoe High to be selected for All-State Concert Chorus and the second in his family to attend college. He plans to major in political science and pursue a career in law. Ethan Smith has been accepted to Middlebury College. He is an Eagle Scout, wrestling team captain, and built three flight simulator computers for a nonprofit. He is looking forward to majoring in computer science and pursuing a career in software engineering. The streak continues as Maria Soto was also accepted by Middlebury College. The future biomedical sciences major is a frequent volunteer with Beta and Second Harvest Food Bank. She aspires to get her master's degree to become a physician's assistant. Jacqueline Tran has been accepted to Middlebury College as well. Her high school resume includes salutatorian, Beta Club Vice President, National Honor Society Service Coordinator, Cambridge ACE Diploma with Distinction Recipient, and Student Government Association member. She plans to major in finance and work for a technology-based company. Aaliyah Walker has been accepted to Middlebury College. With a future in robotics and engineering, she is in the top 10% of her class, served as secretary of her school's Women Empowerment Club, and is a member of National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society, Student Government Association, Book Club, and Dance Team. 
Kobe Yang has been accepted to Bowdoin College, University of Pennsylvania, Williams College, and Yale University. The first generation college bound student is a Questbridge National College Match finalist, president of the National Honor Society, and a USC Bovard Scholar. The former Stop Asian American Pacific Islander Hate intern plans to major in political science or psychology and become a child psychiatrist to address the mental health needs of adolescents. Emma Zahir has been accepted to Middlebury College. The Cambridge Scholar Award winner is the first in her family to go to college and is the treasurer for Beta and Theater Clubs. She plans to major in art history and become a museum curator. Way to go, Knights! Let's see who we have from Olympia High. Ademi Lola Adara Bigby was accepted to Grinnell College. She is the president of Delta Sigma Theta's GEMS program and is a College Board National African American Recognition Program Scholar. After college, she plans to pursue a career in criminal justice. Eva Armeo has been accepted into Johns Hopkins University. She is the historian of the National Honor Society and president of the Science Club. She plans to major in molecular and cellular biology on the pre-med track. Benicio Banez plans to attend Dartmouth College to study economics. He is captain of the varsity baseball team, a volunteer for Dr. Phillips Little League, and an active member of Discovery Church. Once he completes his studies, he intends to start his own business. Jonathan Carreras has been accepted to Cornell University and Duke University. Learning how to be resilient and adapt to change from his mother, he plans to major in biomedical sciences. Lucas Dvorak is the salutatorian of his class who plans to attend Northwestern University, where he will pursue a degree in environmental engineering and economics. He also created an environmental nonprofit to reduce climate change. After college, he wants to open an environmental engineering firm. Omar Elsa Kawi will attend the University of Pennsylvania. He has earned certifications in personability and basic life support while completing a healthcare internship. After studying health and societies, he plans to attend Perlman School of Medicine, also at Penn. Ashley Iwalu has participated in the Project Lead the Way biomedical program and is a College Board National African American Scholar. She looks forward to attending the University of California, Los Angeles to study microbiology. After college, she wants to complete neonatology research. Riel Hanley plans to attend Cornell University. She is inspired by her brother, who works hard to achieve his goals. She wants to attend medical school after completing a degree in human development. Thomas Kelly has received an appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy, where he will major in mechanical and electrical engineering. He also received appointments to the U.S. Air Force Academy and U.S. Military Academy at West Point, as well as acceptance into the University of Notre Dame. He is an Eagle Scout and has led the Boy Scouts National Youth Leadership Experience. Sean Kim is a member of the OCPS Sustainability Council, as well as a Titan TV producer and anchor. He plans to major in computer science at the University of Notre Dame. After college, he wants to work in data science. Marharita Krilova was accepted to Duke University and is ranked 12th in her class. Following in the footsteps of her parents, she will major in biology to pursue a career in the medical field. Joanne Lee is the valedictorian of her class and has been accepted to Yale and Washington and Lee Universities and Washington University in St. Louis. She plans to attend Yale to major in mechanical engineering. Job well done, Titans! Up next is Timber Creek High. Amara Abdul Karim was accepted into Dartmouth College, University of Pennsylvania, and Westland University. She has decided to attend the University of Pennsylvania. She is a National Merit Scholar and volunteers every week. Savannah Brown has been accepted to Cornell and Yale Universities. She serves as president of the Latin and Poetry Clubs and vice president of the Beta Club with over 600 hours of community service. She plans to major in psychology and linguistics. After college, she would like to complete research on language development and alternative communication. 
Yusuf Faris is the salutatorian of his class, vice president of the National Honor Society, and has passed the biotechnician assistant credentialing exam. He plans to major in neuroscience at Johns Hopkins University. Zoe Harris serves as the secretary of the National Art Honor Society and volunteers with Poll Hero to set up election venues. She has been accepted to the University of Notre Dame and Washington University in St. Louis. In college, she will major in psychology and philosophy. Christopher Lee is ranked first in his class as president of the Helping Homeless Club and has been recognized by Orlando Neighborhood Relations for initiating a community pallet garden in the Mills District. He will attend University of California, Los Angeles, majoring in biophysics. Justin Lee plans to attend Middlebury College, majoring in biochemistry and chemistry. He is ranked fourth in his class and runs Teens United Florida, which assists families throughout Orlando and Tampa. After college, he would like to work for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Gabrielle Nash was accepted to Amherst and Swarthmore Colleges. She is the editor-in-chief of the yearbook staff and is an MLK humanitarian finalist. In college, she plans to double major in psychology and global history. Abraham Pizzuti has received an appointment to the U.S. Air Force Academy, where he plans to major in aeronautical engineering to become a pilot. He is an active Eagle Scout and has over 200 service hours. Hope Ugwuke will attend Johns Hopkins University to major in biomedical engineering. With the saying, there is always hope, she wants to use her biomedical degree to work with accident victims. She looks to space as a future travel destination. Congratulations, Wolves! Now, let's move on to University High. Vivian Doan will attend Yale University. She is the class body president and a first-generation college student. She plans to go on to attend medical school to become a doctor and advocate for healthcare reform. Sarah Ortiz Polanco is the vice president of the school's UNICEF club. She plans to attend the University of Pennsylvania to major in biology and then go on to medical school. Nilani Quintana has been accepted to both Johns Hopkins and Duke universities. She is ranked second in her class and has been recognized as a College Board National Hispanic Program Scholar. After college, she wants to be an astrobiologist. Way to go Cougars! Now we will recognize Wakaiva High's Super Scholars. Ashley Phillips has been accepted to Johns Hopkins University, where she plans to major in biology. Ranked fourth in her class and the recipient of an ACE Scholar Award. After undergrad, she wants to go on to attend medical school. Job well done, Mustangs! Now we have the Super Scholars for West Orange High. First up is Cam Anstey. Cam has received an appointment to the U.S. Air Force Academy, where he will play baseball. He plans to follow in the footsteps of his grandfather and great-grandfather, who were aerospace engineers for the U.S. space program. At the academy, he will major in military and strategic studies. Mackenzie Kaltoff has been accepted to the University of Pennsylvania and Vanderbilt University. She is passionate about music and she plays the violin and jazz guitar in multiple ensembles and serves as her school's percussion captain this year. Mackenzie plans to study economics at UPenn with the goal to work in the music business while running a nonprofit to secure widespread access to free music education. Sean Lewis has been accepted to Columbia, Princeton, and Yale Universities, Haverford College, and California Institute of Technology. The National Merit Scholar is president of the West Orange National Honor Society. Still undecided, he plans to study astrophysics in college. Sean says he looks up to his mom because she works hard and never gives up on him. Mariana Macias has been accepted to Johns Hopkins University and the University of Pennsylvania. A lacrosse player who also lifts, Mariana is the first person in her family to attend college in America. She will attend UPenn to study neuroscience to become a surgeon. Brendan Murphy will attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to study computer science. A National Merit Scholar, he was selected as a College Board National African American Scholar. He plans to pursue a career in software engineering and continue to explore his passion of playing the tenor saxophone as a jazz musician. 
Also planning to attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology is Michelle Wang. Ranked number three in her graduating class, Michelle also is co-captain of the West Orange Girls Wrestling Team. A first-generation Asian-American, she wants to study chemical or computer engineering to be an engineer. Way to go, Warriors! Our next school is Windermere High. Starting off, the Wolverines is Antonio Cardoso. Antonio has been accepted to Colgate University and Washington University in St. Louis. The National Hispanic Scholar is Vice President of Ro Kappa Social Studies Honor Society and created a program called Inglés for All to teach impoverished Brazilians how to speak English. In college, he plans to study business and global affairs and one day become a business lawyer. Johan Castellanos plans to attend Middlebury College. This undefeated Wordle player plans to study biochemistry and pursue a master's and doctoral degree in nanomaterials chemistry, synthetic biology, and nanomechanics. Jacob Freeman has received an appointment from the U.S. Air Force Academy. He is the captain of the varsity lacrosse team and first in his family to attend a U.S. Service Academy. Jacob hopes to earn his private pilot's license next month and study aerospace engineering. Shrika Gopal plans to study mathematics at Duke University. As a volunteer for her local math circle, she has helped many children learn math, participated in the Selective Cosmos program for mathematics, and won state-level awards in mathematics at competitions held by the National Beta Club. Lucas Haas has been accepted at Vanderbilt and Yale Universities. He is a Cambridge ACE Diploma with Distinction Candidate and has also won or been a finalist in multiple national and international trombone competitions. Lucas plans to study bioengineering or developmental biology at Yale and stay active in the music community. Also attending Yale University is Sophia Lahik, who plans to study biomedical engineering. Sophia is the captain of the school wrestling team and plays twice at the Florida State Championships. She is in the top 1% of her class and the first in her family to attend an Ivy League college. Jarrell Lewis will attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and study physics. At Windermere High, he was also a member of the varsity wrestling team. Yasmin Martins Amar has been accepted at Colgate University. Yasmin has participated in multiple theatrical productions in school and is a candidate for the Cambridge ACE Diploma with Distinction. In college, she plans to study chemistry or biochemistry to become a forensic or biomedical scientist and pursue a doctorate degree. Evan Muthura will attend the University of Chicago to major in economics. Evan is president of the school chess club, is a published chess instructor, and founded a nonprofit chess organization that has donated hundreds of chess sets to over 1,000 kids nationwide. After college, he plans to attend grad school to complete an MBA program. Claudia Ortiz will attend the University of California, Los Angeles to major in creative writing. Claudia self-published her first poetry book at age 16. She desires to pursue a career in writing for television and poetry. Sarah Park will attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to major in biology. This national merit finalist volunteers at a Korean school every weekend. She plans to become a doctor. Camila Perez has been accepted to the University of Notre Dame. Ranked in the top 20 of her class, she is treasurer of the school's National Honor Society and captain of the girls' varsity swim team. In college, Camila plans to study data science. Dia Rana will attend the University of California, Los Angeles to major in physiology. She is president of the Beta Club, secretary of the Math Honor Society, and helped tutor fellow students for the SAT. In the community, she volunteers at the Orlando Science Center and assists nurses at Advent Health Hospital. Dia intends to become a pediatric nephrologist. Enrique Rodriguez has been accepted at Amherst and Williams Colleges. He is the class valedictorian, president of the school's pre-med club, and has helped guide immigrant students with their college application process. Enrique plans to study biochemistry at Amherst College to become a doctor. 
Rishi Shah has been accepted to Duke, Rice, and Yale universities. This National Merit Scholar teaches coding to middle school students in an after-school club. He plans to attend Yale to study molecular, cellular, and developmental biology to become a neuro-oncologist. Kent Wada will attend Northwestern University to major in neuroscience. Kent is in the top 1% of his class, is the student section president, and participated in varsity track for two years. He also tutors his peers in the ACT and elementary middle school students in their studies. Excellent job, Wolverines. Our final school this evening is Winter Park High. Starting off for the Wildcats is Sebastian Arderia Suarez, who has been accepted at Duke University. They are National Merit Scholar, earned a perfect ACT score, has played the violin since fourth grade, and is president of the Dungeons and Dragons Club. In college, Sebastian plans to study psychology and computer science. Tristan Carbonell has received an appointment to the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. A member of the Math and National Honor Societies, he is also captain of the boys' wrestling team. Tristan is the first in his family to attend a U.S. Service Academy and plans to study mechanical engineering to be an engineer in the Coast Guard. Pedro Kawamura has been accepted to the University of Chicago. An AP scholar with distinction, Pedro has participated in 14 clubs and also volunteers as the visual production manager at Vita Church. He is a first-generation college student in the U.S. and plans to study computer engineering. Madison Lee has been accepted to Stanford University. She is the Winter Park High School student body president and co-founded the Principals Advisory Council to encourage inclusivity on campus. As a pre-med student, she plans to study psychology with the goal of becoming a reconstructive burn surgeon. Diego Lindauer will attend the University of Chicago. Ranked fifth in his class, he has interned as a financial organizer for the Food for Thought Foundation and is the senior leader for Eatonville's Learn to Swim program. Diego plans to study economics and data science. Susan Mollen will attend Stanford University to study symbolic systems or psychology. The National Merit Finalist is seventh in her class and also captain of the crew team. Susan says she admires her brother for his perseverance through challenging life moments with a positive attitude and respect for others. Nicholas Cole Mooney will attend Davidson College. He is vice president of the chorus, rehearsal manager for the school's a cappella group, and secretary of Tri-M. At Davidson, he plans to study history and political science to become a lawyer. Jordan Rotz has been accepted to Washington and Lee University. A National Merit Scholar, he is also captain of the varsity lacrosse team, member of the varsity basketball team, and sings in the a cappella group. In college, he plans to study applied physiology and kinesiology to become an orthopedic surgeon. Jaina Shaw has been accepted to Brown and Colgate Universities. She is a varsity softball player and outside of school volunteers as a self-defense instructor and tutors mentally disabled children. Jaina plans to study psychology to be a doctor like her mother. Shay Stolman will attend Barnard College at Columbia University to study neuroscience. She created an elementary school curriculum about Asian American history and has played the flute for the last 10 years. After college, she hopes to continue studying to get her doctorate degree. And our final super scholar of the evening is Ada Vazana, who will attend Harvard University to study philosophy. The men's coxswain plans to continue in crew at Harvard and afterward go to law school. This ends the Wildcat section and concludes our 2021-22 recognition event. It has been an honor once again to serve as your program MC. Congratulations, class of 2022 Super Scholars. Hearing about your amazing accomplishments and future goals is truly inspiring for all of us. We wish you all the best and know you will continue to make your families, your communities, and OCPS proud.